Hello students, we we'll summarize this module by discussing the list of formulae involved in this module. And the first one is a total response of a system which is given as C of T which is equal to sum of two responses that is steady state response plus transient response. So CSS of T is a steady state response, C of CT of T is what? Transient response. Next part is standard test signals what we have discussed in this module in that first one is step function so the notation is r of t equal to u or else u of t equal to a so then ramp function so that is r of t equal to a t then third one is parabolic function r of t equal to a t square by 2 so then impulse function so that is r of t equal to delta of t right third point is what Unit step response of a first order system, which is given as a C of t or a V naught of t, which is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus t by Rc, where Rc is a time constant, right? So, four point time specification of first order system, right? So, in that, the first one is what? Time constant, which is given as capital T, which is equal to 1 by A, which is equal to Rc, right? Second point is rise time, which is uh, given as TR, which is equal to 2.2 by A. Then third one is what? Settling time. Notation is TS, which is given as 4 by A. So next point is what? Transfer function of second order system, which is given as ratio of output response to a input response. That is C of S by R of S, which is equal to omega n square whole divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square where omega n is natural frequency then zeta is damping ratio right second uh, next one is what time response uh, specifications or uh, second order systems means how exactly the response of a second order system so under this one we have discussed four cases that is uh, undamped, underdamped, critically damped or marginal damped or uh, over damped. So that first one is what? Undamped system wherein zeta value that is damping ratio value will be zero, right? Next, so it's a time response C of T is given as one minus cos omega NT where omega N is natural frequency, right? Second one is what? under damped system wherein zeta value lies between 0 and 1 then its uh, response equation is c of t is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus zeta omega n t whole divided by under root 1 minus zeta square sine omega d t plus theta where omega d is the damping frequency the theta is the damping ratio angle so which is given as tan inverse of under root 1 minus zeta square by zeta. So this value from damping ratio triangle where omega d is omega n under root 1 minus zeta square. It's a damping frequency. It is a natural frequency, right? So next third case is that it is a critically damped system or marginally damped system wherein zeta value will be what? Zero. Its uh, response equation is given as c of t is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus omega n t bracket 1 plus omega n t and fourth one is what over damped system wherein zeta value will be what more than one its response equation is given as 1 minus omega n divided by 2 under root zeta square minus 1 bracket e raised to minus s1 t by s1 minus e raised to minus s2 t by so next point is seventh one is what transient specification of second order system so in that the first one what you discuss is what delay time that is td which is given as 1 plus 0.7 zeta by omega n second one is rise time notation is tr which is given as pi minus theta by omega d next third one peak time tp which is equal to pi by omega d which is given as pi by omega n under root 1 minus zeta square. 
peak overshoot MP, which is given as e raised to minus zeta pi divided by under root 1 minus zeta square. Usually, this peak overshoot expressed in terms of percentage, right? So, next one is settling time Ts, which is given as 4 by zeta omega n. Next point is what? Steady state error. So, in that we have defined the equation that is steady state error ESS is given as limit S tends to 0, S into R of S whole divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. Suppose if a system is having unity feedback system, so then H of S will be what? 1. In that case, steady state error equation will change to limit S tends to 0, S into R of S whole divided by 1 plus G of S. By considering H of S as 0, so we can write different uh, uh, constants in the steady state error. That is positional error constant is that is Kp is given as limit S tends to 0 G of S. Con by considering what? H of S as 1 that is unity feedback. If suppose a system is not having unity feedback then here Kp is equal to limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S will come. Right. So we are considering only H of S as 1. So therefore, no H of S is young, right? Velocity error constant that is KV is equal to limit S tends to 0, S into G of S. Similarly, acceleration error constant K, which is given as limit S tends to 0, S square, G of S. So these all are the basics or list of formulae what we have in this model, right? So next, move on to the numericals involved in this one. So in the first numerical, We'll discuss how exactly the problem statement is find the step response find the step response c of p for the system described by g of s equal to 4 by s plus 4 and also find time constant rise time settling time right we know how to define the system with a block diagram where r of s is the reference input c of s is the controlled output G of S is the gain, right? So from this diagram, we can write C of S equal to R of S into G of S. So they have mentioned for any step response, R of T will be one. Uh, it's uh, R of S means Laplace transform will be one by S. G of S value they have given four by S plus four. Using partial fractions, so you can write, so P by S plus Q by S plus four, right? Again, further, we can write the equation as 4 is equal to P into S plus 4 plus Q into S. We substitute S equal to 0 in this above equation. We can write 4 is equal to P in the case 0 plus 4 plus Q into 0. So, therefore, P is equal to what? 1 will get. Similarly, if we substitute S equal to minus 4 in the above equation, so we'll get 4 is equal to P into 0 plus Q into minus 4. Therefore, Q value what we are getting is what? Minus 1, right? Substitute the P and Q value in the above equation here. So, we will get C of S equal to 1 by S minus 1 by S plus 4. Now, we need to find response, uh, time response. So, this is in the Laplace domain. So, we need to convert into what? Time domain. So, we should take inverse Laplace transform. So, C of S will become C of T. 1 by S inverse will be 1. 1 by s plus 4 inverse will be e raised to minus 4t. So therefore, so final time response of a first order system is what? 1 minus e raised to minus 4t. So just to compare this with a standard equation that is c of t equal to 1 minus e raised to minus a t. So we can write easily a as what? 4. Now we need to find time constant which is given as 1 by a which is equal to rc. We have the value of a as 4. So therefore, 1 by 4 will be 0.25 second, right? Next one is what? Rise time, which is given as TR is equal to 2.2 by A. Substitute A value here. So we'll get 0.55 seconds. Then last one is what? Settling time, which is has a, having the equation 4 by A. Substitute the A value here 4, we'll get 1 seconds. We can represent this uh, time constant, uh, rise time, as well as settling time in a single graph shown in figure here c of t versus t wherein this is time constant this is right time rise time this is what the settling time this is how the solution goes for this first order system
let's move on to the next numerical so that is unity feedback uh, control system it is characterized by an open loop transfer function that is g of s h of s is given as k by s s plus 10 determine the k so that system will have the damping ratio 0.5 means theta value is 0.5 for this value of k find tr that is rise time tp peak time ts settling time mp peak overshoot assume the system is subjected to step of one volt means input is what one so we know how to write the characteristic equation of a system which is given as one plus g of s into h of s is equal to zero so we can write one plus k by s s plus 10 into one here h of s is one why because they are mentioned here it's a unity feedback control system so upon simplifying this one we'll get s square plus 10 s plus k is equal to zero we compare with this a standard equation so that is s square plus 2 zeta omega ns plus omega n square by comparing these two equations, we can easily write this 2 zeta omega n as 10. That's what we have written here. Right. Similarly, we can easily write uh, omega n square equal to k. So we need to find omega n here, omega n equal to 10 by 2 zeta. We know the value of zeta. How much it is? Given zeta is 0.5. Substitute here 0 0.5, you will get omega n as 10 radians per second. Substitute here omega n value, so you will get k as Right. Next task is to find what? Rise time. What is the formula for rise time? Pi minus theta by omega d, where omega d is omega n into under root 1 minus zeta square. Substitute the zeta value here. So we will get uh, tr as 0.24 seconds. Right. Next. So we need to find what? Tp also. What is the uh, formula for Tp? Pi by omega d right which is equal to pi by omega n under root 1 minus zeta square so for the zeta value here as well as omega n value so we'll get uh, tp that is peak time as 0.363 seconds right next one is what settling time which is having the formula 4 by zeta omega n which is equal to 4 by zeta value is what 0 0.5 omega n value is what 10 upon simplifying we'll get 0 0.8 seconds right next one is what uh, peak overshoot which is given as e raised to minus pi zeta whole divided by under root 1 minus zeta square so substitute the values here so that is e raised to minus pi into zeta value is what 0 0.5 whole divided by under root 1 minus 0 0.5 square we substitute all the values here so we'll get MP that is peak overshoot value as e raised to minus 1.81. So that results in 0.1636. So usually uh, peak overshoot is expressed in terms of percentage. We express in terms of percentage. So that results in here. So that is 16.3 uh, percentage. This is how we need to solve the numericals to get the all these uh, time response specifications as well as what so parameters like omega n and k right